rheumatic heart diseases caused by inadequately treated sore throats and rheumatic fevers are common in children aged 5 to 15 years. Dr. Magino emphasized the crucial need for nurses in primary schools to identify these conditions early. We should now reach the children and most of the children are in rural <laughs> schools, move the services nearer to these children and that is by way of getting every school attached to a nurse who can look down into the children's what, so, throat and you once it picks some information, that child should immediately be referred. It's a common infection in children, but then later their body overreacts to this infection and the body ends up damaging itself. And the part of the body that is most commonly damaged is the heart. In a recent study conducted by the Uganda Heart Institute, researchers have developed an innovative method for screening rheumatic heart diseases using genetic information. So that study that is looking at the genetics, okay, genes are what we are made of. So the genetics we have this new discovery which we are placing a patent for is is uh, has been able to show us for the first time that we can use a blood test to diagnose an early form of this heart disease. Despite these advancements, the Institute faces significant bureaucratic hurdles in securing funding for research, which discourages potential funders from supporting these vital projects. Dr. John Baptist Waniaye, Commissioner of Health Services at the Ministry of Health, also commented on this issue, highlighting the need for streamlined processes to facilitate timely funding. After winning a research grant, the process for getting that money into the country, it, it is too long. It takes months, months, sometimes, you know, sometimes six months. That should not take, the, it is real disadvantaging, what is As proof of uh, utilization of research grants is done by uh, the Minister of Finance because this is additional money into the country. So they are controlling it and so if there is a justification on the approval, I know it will be able to, to, to get a waiver or a new approach. But when someone approving is not known, then the funders uh, become hesitant in, in having those funds move. Dr. Magino provided an update on the construction of the new Heart Institute in Naguru, with groundbreaking expected in August this year. We should be having groundbreaking. And once you groundbreak 18 months, that place should be finished. And then equipping begins. So by 26, 2026, we should have something, almost we should be at equipping level. Cardiovascular diseases remain the leading cause of mortality in sub-Saharan Africa, with Uganda alone registering 18 million premature deaths annually. Mary Namkose, Irene Faith, Nantongo, UBC News.